All successful idols are super busy, one with variety shows, K-dramas, concerts, fan signing events, and many more. They are swamped all the time with so many things to do. That said, what if someone was a member of not just one idol group, but three? Can you even imagine how insane that would be? Here we have an idol who is working non-stop every day like an Energizer Bunny as a member of three subunit groups. In today's episode of Idol Exploration, we're gonna explore NCT's talented member who is also a member of NCT U, NCT 127, and NCT Dream. The one and only, Hetan. But before we get started, there's a special event prepared for this episode. If there's anything interesting about Hetchan that wasn't mentioned in this video, or fun facts that you're dying to share, tell us in the comment and hit the like button and subscribe. We will give away the NCT Dream Summer Vacation Kit to the winner who will be selected randomly. Make sure you subscribe to be notified right away when we announce the winner. The winner announcement will be posted under the community tab on our channel. We'll be waiting for a lot of comments from all you N-Citizens out there. Hechan, whose real name is Yi Dong Hyuk, was born on June 6, 2000. He was born in Seoul, but he spent his entire childhood in Jeju Island. Take a look at his old photos and you'll see he was always somewhat special. He was extremely popular in Halla Elementary School. He was a famous class clown. And he must have been a natural performer, as he was often seen either singing or being an MC with a mic in his hand. In 5th grade, he moved back to Seoul, and everyone in this class missed him a lot. Dong Hyuk went to middle school in Seoul, but eventually dropped out. He later went to Seoul Arts High School until he dropped out to really focus on his career as a member of NCT. His dream to become a singer actually started thanks to SHINee, a Sunbae idol group at SM Entertainment. One very early morning, he stumbled upon a music video of SHINee when he was just flipping through channels on TV. That's how he got into K-pop and began dreaming of becoming a singer. On July 17, 2014, Hechan was first revealed to the public through the program SM Rookies. And in 2015, he appeared on Mickey Mouse Club on Disney Channel with fellow Rookies members, beginning to make more appearances for his fans. His adorable face and unbelievable skills for his age as well as his friendliness that creates great chemistry with anybody made him the official darling among trainees. In fact, Yi Man liked him too, and he even personally gave Hechan his stage name. Hechan is a combination of the Chinese character He, which means well, and Chan, which means to shine. So Hechan means shine well. It appears that this name was made for the fans who find it difficult to write or pronounce Dong Hyuk. Later, a new nickname was made. Fall Sun. It's a combination of He meaning Sun in Korean and Chan meaning Fall. He Chan apparently really likes this nickname. Every time He Chan writes a tweet, he refers to himself as Full Sun, and the nickname is written on his mic case as well. It's a nickname that suits him, since he's always so passionate, just like the sun. So in 2016, Hechan debuted as a member of NCT, a group with an unprecedented system known as the Rotational System. The company, which clearly had high hopes for Hechan, put him in not one or two, but three subunits. He became a member of NCT U, NCT 127, and NCT Dream. So basically, he's a part of pretty much every activity of NCT. And as it turned out, SM had an eye for true talent. Hechan handled his schedule in all three subunits like a pro and became an indispensable member in all of the subunits. He's a main vocalist in NCT. In NCT Dream, he does the climax in almost every song, and in NCT 127, he refreshes the overall vibe of each song. When performing a song, he turns all of his parts into the killing parts of the song with his unique voice. Hechan has a captivating voice that you can't easily find in the music scene. In fact, you can easily tell it's him when you hear his voice in a song. When singing, he maintains a refreshing voice while giving off a very charming vibe. He can perform any song in his own unique way so well that you would think the song was made specifically for him. 
Plus, Yi Su Man is a big fan of Hae Chan's voice too. Fans have compared Hae Chan's voice to many things, including a sparkling lemon sprite, a jade marble, a nightingale, and a canary. But it's not just his voice that makes Hae Chan a born to be idol. NCT Dream member Ji Sung picked Hae Chan as the one with the most memorable first impression. It was because when he first saw Hae Chan, he was shocked to see that a person could be that handsome. Ji Sung thought to himself, wow, SM does live up to its name. Unlike most idols who try to make their skin look paler, Hae Chan has very smooth copper toned skin. This is one of many things about Hae Chan that attracts so many fans. Also, because of the small size of his face and his long legs, his body looks very well proportioned even though he isn't extremely tall. Fans often tease Hae Chan by calling him 2 meter long legs. It's interesting because when he's by himself, he looks like such a big guy, but when he's around his youngs in NCT, he looks pretty small. The ends of his eyes are sloped down a little bit, kind of like a dog. But he has Sampaku eyes, so he can switch between cuteness and sexiness depending on his makeup. Hechan also has a mole on his cheek. And fans love it and call it Pudu Chilsung. Why Pudu, you ask? Well, one of Hechan's most notable nicknames is Pudu. It refers to Pudu Mephistopheles, which are known as the smallest deer in the world. Pudu have a cute, adorable face and long legs, just like Hechan, which is how the nickname came about. There's even a Pudu named Hechan in LA. A baby Pudu was born at the LA Zoo, and Hechan's fans overseas sent pictures of Hechan and Pudu to the social media account of the zoo and explained that Hechan's nickname was Pudu. The zoo then responded that it is their policy to let their sponsors name the baby animals in that zoo. But then the zoo promised that if the fans made a certain amount of donation, they would name the Pudu Hechan and it took the fans only a few hours to reach the target amount. So the baby Pudu at the LA Zoo was named Hechan. Many international newspapers and media outlets reported this interesting news. After hearing about it, Hechan himself visited the LA Zoo when he went to LA during a North American tour and actually met the Pudu in person. He basically gained a new baby brother. Speaking of siblings, Hechan is the oldest kid in his family with two little brothers and one little sister. However, he is so full of aegyo and receives tons of love from Hyungs in NCT. Hechan shows a lot of physical affection to his teammates and he does a lot of aegyo in everyday life. He is also a jokester and teases his teammates a lot. He is quick and well spoken, so he is the official life of the party in NCT. Every time the group members greet each other, there's a specific handshake they do. And this was actually made by Hachan himself. As much as you can see Hachan's playfulness in the handshake, which has become more elaborate over time, Hachan takes his music and performance very seriously. He is a pro who always wants to present the best performance. He even says, I'm supposed to be good. I'm supposed to be snazzy and perform well. Being a multi-talented guy that he is, Hechan has many different hobbies too. And some interesting hobbies he has. His roommate Taehyun said that Hechan collects vinyl records. One time he actually showed off one of the vinyl records he bought. The vinyl records he bought at the time were records of Michael Jackson, Prince, Coldplay, Ed Sheeran, Bruno Mars, Beyonce, and Queen. His selection of records really shows his love for old-school pop music, it seems. Hechan is a huge fan of Michael Jackson in particular. He looks up to him as his idol and his role model. He admires Michael Jackson so much that his signature number when he was on SM Rookies was actually 58, the birth year of Michael Jackson. He collects vinyl records of Michael Jackson, and he even dresses up like him on Halloween. He has a habit of buying a Michael Jackson t-shirt every time he sees one on the street, and now he has a total of 5 MJ t-shirts. With a smart brain and sparkling talent, Hechan has been a crucial member of NCT. His ultimate goal is to become a singer-songwriter. Despite his busy schedule, he writes lyrics and composes music in his free time to achieve this goal, and he practices playing the piano too. We are all very curious what his music is going to sound like. 
Right now, Hechan is known as the busiest member of NCT, and he delights his fans with various styles. Hopefully, he doesn't push himself too hard and remains healthy and vibrant for a long time. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Please hit the like button and subscribe. If there's any K-pop star you want to know more about, tell us in the comment. For the selected topic, we'll put together a big giveaway event. This has been Tuyuram's Idol Exploration. See ya!